Hello, what's up guys? It is Deltre and we are back with some more Fire Emblem Fates Lunatic Conquest. Last time, we died and died and died and died and died and died some more. <laughs> yeah, so I had asked you guys in the comments if you thought that Chapter 25 was the hardest map in the game. Uh, without cheese, of course. And it seemed like a lot of you guys felt the same way that I did. It seemed like... The general consensus is that that probably is the hardest one to do straight. Now, I did see a few other contenders in there as well. Uh, I saw a few people bring up the Great Wall, of course, which is a very hard map as well, especially if you don't have liars and things of that nature. Uh, Hinoka's map, I saw people mention that one as well. All in all, though, I think I really said everything that I needed to say. I mean, just listen to how I sounded at the end of that video, right? I was spent. I was spent, and the best part was that I did actually go back and play it again. Uh, Ophelia ended up at too high of a level for me. Now, you guys did actually give a number of really useful tips for anybody who wanted to play that last map. Things that I didn't even think of myself. Which is why I'm so grateful when you guys post comments like that. I also saw somebody ask if I read every comment. Uh, yes. <laughs> I still do. If it seemed like I slowed down on that lately, it's because when I came back, okay. When I started uploading videos again, YouTube was trialing this very, very stupid system that I absolutely hated, okay? So what they were doing was keeping a counter next to the poster's name. Like, let's say you posted a comment on this video, right? It would show a number next to your name. And that would represent how many times I responded to you or left a heart or whatever. And I hated that. I hated it, dude. I hate it's gone now, thank God. But I hate that. Why are you going to try and make YouTube into a popularity contest? No, 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 none of that. So I, I, I felt like, I felt like I shouldn't just because it doesn't really matter if I leave a heart on your comment. I'm gonna let you know that right now. If you post a comment, you will probably show up in a video sooner or later. I mean, if that's your goal, I mean, hey, you're hanging with the right crowd. I talk about what you guys say all the time. And to just add a number to that was just like, ugh, it, I didn't like it. I didn't like it, but it's gone now, so take that for what you will. As I was starting to say though, you guys actually left a number of helpful techniques for that map. For example, just about every enemy that attempts to bottleneck you can be defeated with a a rescue strategy, or a shelter strategy I should say. Uh, for example, that master of arms with counter magic that chokes the hallway can be killed with lightning from range, and then you can rescue. Now, I, I did notice that one, but I didn't want to use it because the only way I could defeat him with lightning in a single round was to use Elise, who only had like a 65% chance. Uh, if I wanted to do it with Ophelia, she needed a pair up because she was just a little bit weak. So I, I didn't have that option, but if you do have that option, uh, that's definitely one way you can circumvent that whole thing. And the big one, the big one that you guys let me know that really helped me get this one down to a T, I think, is that the Spy Shuriken Ninjas will only go for raw damage. They don't really factor in the Grizzly Wound Poison Strike combo, and that's why I was so fearful of letting them move. I assumed that the AI was able to use that intelligently to chip somebody down and then finish them off easily. But they'll just go for whoever uh, they can deal the most damage to. Which, which, when I replayed it, I took full advantage of that, and I had Izana and Dwyer pull some of the Master Ninjas to the wall so that Mozu could kill them that way. And it, it worked out so much better, and it was so much more reliable than trying to freeze them in place every single turn. Now, I didn't think of that one myself. So as hard as I may have made it look, uh, once you know all the tricks, it's really not as bad. Of course, the first few rounds are still really sketchy, or at least mine were. Uh, if you can believe it, Camilla only ever died one time, and I, I did have to replay... Oh, let's say five times or so, uh, just to get a solid first round, because god damn you, Silas. <laughs> but enough of him, right? I've had about enough of his crap. Uh, that said, though, once you really understand everything there is to understand about that map, I do think it's fun, but I, I really don't... I really can't see myself changing my stance on the whole Master Ninjas thing. Now, of course, I did forget that their evasion bonus from their class is actually cut in half. So really, they're only getting, I think you guys said two and a half points, which I, I thought it was 10. I, I thought the bonus was 10. Cut in half for the enemy, of course, which is something that I forgot. Because it certainly didn't feel that way when I was playing the map, I'll tell you that much. That said, though, I'm glad you guys seem to enjoy that longer part. No, I, it's not going to be, it's not going to be a habit. It just takes a lot of effort. Like, that was a, that was a long play session. 
Uh, one of the longest ones I've had in a long time, and it was cut down severely. I always do that, though, with those longer videos, right? It, I don't show everything in those cases, because honestly, if it's going to be that long, let's just get to it, right? So, I, I'm sure a lot of you guys noticed, but it was more like... Thought process, resolve. Thought process, resolve. Over and over and over again, you know? None of that, hmm. Well, what if I, well, what about this move? But perhaps, hmm, what about the, you know, no beard scratching, basically. Uh, so hopefully that made it better for you guys. Also, one of you guys told me that you can't use lunch from two range and heroes? Really? <laughs> yeah, somebody said that that map probably had a lot to do with that, and I agree completely. <laughs> I was also, I don't want to say surprised necessarily, but I was glad to see a lot of people, even people that I had seen adamantly against the storyline before this point come out to say that even they felt like the story in that chapter is actually handled fairly decently. And I also did see a few people that disagree, and that's fine too. Uh, for me personally though, I feel like Ryoma had enough weight by himself accrued uh, by this point just by being an antagonist throughout the plot with the best intentions, mind you, but he's been on her ass a few different times. So it was nice for me to see him get a, like a fitting end, you know what I mean? To see the game actually treat him with a little bit of respect. And I feel like they actually, I feel like they tried with that scene. And of course, it still, like I say, suffers the problem where if you were off the train by that point, if you had checked out of the story, then obviously it's not going to do anything for you. But in my heart of hearts, I can admit that for me personally, if that scene were implanted into another Fire Emblem game, I would have liked it. I would have. Also, because I keep freaking forgetting, man. I, me I meant to bring this up for like five videos in a row. Thank you to the people who told me that that community tab was in fact visible for them. I did not forget about that video. I just turned out to be more of a perfectionist than I had realized. <laughs> and also, since I see a lot of requests for certain games uh, lately, the one that I see the most is Berwick Saga. Uh, that was a pain in the ass to record. Like, I'm not going to front. That was the biggest... That it was so much work. It was so much work, at least as much work as two of the last part to get just a one hour video. I don't know how well people really understand that because nobody has actually played Berwick Saga for themselves. The only perspective that a lot of you guys have, I'm sure, is the playthrough that I did. But that game is long. That game is long as hell. There was not a single session of that game that I did. It was under three hours long. That was the shortest possible. That was the shortest possible. Maybe some of the side missions I could get away with a more regular, uh, a more regular approach. But every single one of those main stories chapters, man, there is no way. And it was it was just too much for me. I'm sorry. I, I almost certainly will finish the the available patch, and I've still been watching it. It's up to like chapter eight now, I think. But it is not going to be an every other day thing. It will be a once in a while thing, if at all. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but they're, they're just, it was just too much work. So, I, I can't. I'm sorry. I also frequently get a request for Awakening Lunatic, and I have to be honest with you guys. I, I know you guys probably haven't heard me say this before. I can't expect everybody to have watched every playthrough after all. But I think Awakening Lunatic is terrible. I think it's one of the worst designed Fire Emblem games, period, on Lunatic. And I that doesn't mean I think Fire Emblem Awakening is one of the worst games. I don't. I think that Lunatic mode most certainly is. It's just god-awful. You guys don't actually want to see that. I know, I know some of you guys think that you do, but you don't. Because here's what it would be. It would be Robin murdering everything for the entire game. That's not just like a low turn count strategy. That is the only awakening strategy. Let's see. Because I, I have awakening and I have a lunatic file. And I'm on like chapter 20 something. I'm on the one with Validar. I remember that's the one where I stopped playing. Okay, so I just loaded it up. And right now, I, I, I haven't played this in over a year. But uh, right now, I'm on the map with Validar. And the only two people that I had deployed <laughs> based on the save are Robin and Krom. That it's not that I didn't try to use other people. Right here, here's Pawn. Okay, here's Pawn. She's a level one Wyvern Lord. I, I assume that I've reclassed her at least one time, but here are her stats. Okay, she has 55 HP, 32 strength, 6 magic, 28 skill, 28 speed, 17 luck, 24 defense, 5 resistance, doubled and one rounded by everything on the map that's not a mage. Every single enemy. If you're not Crom, Robin, Lucina, Morgan, or Severa, just forget it. And Severa is debatable. <laughs> She's usable, but debatable. 
Oh, and Fred for the early game. Those are the only six characters that could ever do anything. That's not an exaggeration in the slightest. Everybody else is worthless. I'm sorry to say, but that's just how Lunatic Awakening is. If I were to ever play it on Lunatic, for one, I would just do Lunatic Plus at that point, right? <laughs> but if I were to ever do that, I would need to see an overwhelming amount of support beforehand. It, I, it can't just be like one or two people asking for it. It would have to be a staggering amount, <laughs> honestly. I'm not opposed to playing Awakening altogether. Maybe, maybe if I get like a randomizer going, I might do that, but hard mode is my preferred difficulty for Awakening. I never, ever, ever want to touch Lunatic again. <laughs> never beat Lunatic Plus though, so that's why I, that's why I even leave that option on the table at all. But it would have to be absolutely overwhelming for me to do it, I'm sorry. I'd try to mess around, of course, because I, I like a lot of the characters in Awakening, it's just that I, I don't know how, I don't know how practical it would be. And for the record, you can't even grind on Lunatic in Awakening. Not really, so I couldn't just take a battle to diversify my team or anything. I'd have to get really, really creative, and it just sounds like a hassle in some ways. This is probably just going to be a little bit more of a standard part, because honestly, I'm just trying to chill today. We're not doing treason just yet. We're going to move on to another paralogue, because we can finally make these two dudes bone. Let's do it. Ha! Lady Camilla! Thank you for meeting with me! Hello, Arthur. I'm happy to meet with you, but if this is about Dude, you needn't worry. No, this isn't about Lady Dude. This is about us, milady. Us? Like you and me? Yes, despite my failings, you have treated me with such kindness. I know we are worlds apart, and I would sooner have luck touching the stars. But as they say, something ventured, some other thing gained. I don't think that's the expression. Will you marry me? Arthur, did any carriages strike you on the way here today? I would never marry you. Ho! Oh. <laughs> Support's over. Pardon me? Take a close look at my face. You're speaking with Lady Camilla. Are you aware of that? Oh, -ho. <laughs> but of course. Who else would you be? Sorry, I just had to check. So, I take it that's a no? <laughs> Oh, no, no. It's a yes. Naturally. All this time we spent together. <laughs> all those special moments we've shared. Like that time I had you go talk to Lady Dude for me. But you just said no. Uh, twice, in fact. Yes, yes, yes. It's a yes, Arthur. You had the worst luck of anyone I've ever met. <laughs> I just feel bad for you, actually, so... <laughs> I don't know if I would really want to take that. I think I might change my mind. Would you really want to marry somebody just because they felt bad for you? That sounds horrible. <laughs> it really doesn't it? I'm drawn to your faithfulness and earnest nature. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not sure I've ever done Arthur and Camilla. It's usually Camilla and Keaton because that makes Valoria super, super broken. As if she wasn't good enough anyways. She kind of... I, I, I think Valoria kind of sidesteps a lot of Keaton's issues just because she honestly has the raw stats depending on the parent. But that's just my two cents. Oh, terrific. There's just one thing. I had a rather striking ring picked out. But on the way over here... Stop. I don't even want to know about it. I'm just glad you made it here in one piece. I agree with stats like that. God, if anything were to happen, I just don't know. But I'll take that paralogue. Before we move on to any of that, though, we got some promotions. Yeah, Arthur finally hit level 10, but that's not the only one. All right, move over, Odin. I've had about enough of your shit. Let's show you how it's done. <laughs> your kid is about to come through. Oh yeah, you knew that this was what we were doing. You already know. <laughs> this is gonna be great. So class change, Ophelia, the Swordmaster. Let's go. But if she's gonna be a Swordmaster, she's gonna need a weapon. Which is why she carries her Levin Sword. <laughs> this is the most expensive joke ever. <laughs> and while riding, let's just go for broke, man. Give her that dust. Let's get Arthur going, too. Now, he is forced on this next map. Of course, that doesn't mean I have to use it for combat or anything, but his bonuses are going to be bonkers, dude. He's going to be giving seven strength to Camilla. Camilla, of all people. You know, that lady who sold the entire left-hand side of the previous map? Yeah, she's seven points stronger when Arthur is around. Just imagine that. Okay, let's just get into it, though. I think this one might be a little bit shorter, in all honesty. I don't care. I just, I need, I need something, man. That last map beat me down, put me into the dirt, I'm telling you. That was no, that was no joke. 
This map though is considerably easier, however it's still very very interesting for reasons that we'll be seeing. I wouldn't necessarily say it's harder to complete per se, but it is still pretty difficult to get everything that you would want to get out of this map. I, I did actually take a second to sit down and like think about it because, like I said, just beating the map is one thing, beating it well is another. And if I have any luck, we'll be able to make back some of that money from that Levin Sword Forge. And, you know, just for the record, she doesn't need the extra might or anything. I just, I think it's a funny joke. Because <laughs> seriously, why did they even change his name in the new translation? Why? Why? The Levin Sword is spelled L-E-V-I-N. As in Levin, the guy. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, the, and it can be pronounced exactly the same, so they just did it for flavor. <laughs> you know? I mean, I guess it's more, I mean, I guess it fits in with the rest of the of the theme though sort of right because you already have people like Hulin and whatnot so meh. I guess you'll never sell me on Arenas though nope 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 her name is Fury <laughs> now Paralogue 19 great heroism Percy frustrated that his father Arthur doesn't visit often tricks mercenaries into attacking Arthur after commit after convincing them he's the bandit leader that sounds about right what luck <laughs> man don't make me tell your mother kid stop acting up <laughs> did you see what she did to that last map? Oh my Curious. god, <laughs> you better behave. So here we have Percy. Now he's Arthur's kid naturally, and I, I gotta say, I love the whole superhero gimmick that he's got going on. I think that's really funny. Uh, being Arthur's kid and all. And all. I mean, it only makes sense. And also his personal skill is hilarious too. Because, uh, well, we'll, see, well, we'll see in a second. Here, Ace, come to Percy. Come on, come to Percy. Good dragon. You're my only real friend. Especially since Pops never visit. Yeah, see, this is exactly my problem with the whole Deep Realms thing, though. It really makes all of the parents seem like assholes, though. Especially Arthur here. With Percy as his kid, I don't know. I don't feel like Arthur would be that kind of parent. I feel like he would actually give a damn, you know what I mean? So to just dump his kid off in the Deep Realm. Especially like this, when he's actually... I, I, I don't know. It feels like Percy's really the only kid that reacts to this normally, at least on the Conquest side of things. Can't really remember the Birthright kids as well. But Percy's sitting over here actually bummed out that his dad just dumped him off in some <laughs> other world. Uh... As he should be. <laughs> uh, what, Ace? Trying to make me feel better. Golly, thanks a bunch. Thanks a bunch, Ace. You always know just what to roar. <laughs> You're the best buddy ever. With you as my sidekick, nothing is going to get me down. I'm done obeying Pops' dumb rules. As he should be. <laughs> Which includes staying here in my deep realm. Let's get on out of here, Ace. Oh. He must be around here somewhere. Percy, hello. Percy. Oh, my son, my offspring. Oh, sidekick, not yet old enough to kick in my side. <laughs> Why would you leave our most secret lairs of your deep realm? Ew. Oogie, what? Oogie, oogie boogie? Oh, dragon dung, whizzing past my heroic brow. Hey, close call. But, where'd it come from? Percy! Percy, where have you been? I've been worried sick. Leaving the secret lair. Clearly you must have gotten lost. No need to worry. I'll have you back home in a flash. Must say, it's nice to see you, son. It's been a while. How old are you now anyways, sport? I hardly recognize you. Hmm? Yeah, Percy's not having this shit. What's seating you, Percy? Come on, out with it. Huh? I hate you, Pops. Huh? But why? We hardly know each other. All you're talking about justice? How just is it to never visit me? You're... You're... You're a villain. You're my worst enemy. You're my... You're my arch nemesis. Never fear. <laughs> never fear, Percy. Pops is here, finally. Yeesh, what's gotten into him? Arch nemesis? Ahoy there, friend. Ha, friend. I'm no friend to some jerk who makes kids cry their eyes out. Ha ha! You've fallen into the covered pit of misconception, stranger. <laughs> they could call it a pitfall. Here, I'll help you out before you're gored upon the spikes of wrong-headedness. That was no kid. That was my son, my spawn, what? fruit of my loins. What? The way he ran off crying? No way. Who are you really, villain? Met its match. Hi, I'm Arthur. <laughs> what? No, you're not. I recognize you. You're... You're Gazak. No, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Really? Oh, foreshadowing. That's crazy. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, man. We'll probably see Gazak soon. Very soon in that. Wow. <laughs> Who would have thought? So how come they can foreshadow that but not Lilith? <laughs> no, your ears must be clogged, friend. Listen up. 
as I just said, evil has met its match. Hi, I'm Arthur. What? <laughs> what? You can't fool me, Gazak. I'd recognize that chin anyway. <laughs> Wait. Oh my God, that's so funny. I can see it too. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Why is this game getting me so good <laughs> right now? I'm done. It's got banner written all over oh, it. Um, <clears throat> well, <laughs> well, <clears throat> I assure you that my chin is not the graffiti wall of evil. Here, fellow, my son comes back. He'll clear up this matter. Back, evildoer! Back, evildoer. Return to whatever dark hole of naughtiness you crawled out of. I think that mercenary has you pegged. You are, Gazak. <laughs> Percy, goddammit, don't make me play a map here. <laughs> Charge, friends. I found Gazak. Time for this bandit to come to justice. No! What? You must be joking. <sighs> wow, that really spiraled out of the control. Why is Silas in all these cutscenes all of a sudden? Was he supposed to be like a Seth, maybe, originally, and then they just, like, dropped that whole thing, or what? We better get in there and back Arthur up, I guess. I guess. It is kind of his fault, though. <laughs> Everybody else is like, yeah, you're right. Everybody that's in needs to be in, so we can do, like, one of these. That should be a good spot for you, buddy. Uh, something like this. Nope, we want you right here. Okay, this will make sense in a second. We need a lot of dragon vein users on this map now because, well, the gimmick here, whoa, what's going on here? Hold on one second. Now, as I was starting to say, the gimmick here, right, is that these guys aren't actually villains necessarily. They're not bad guys, right? They just, it's a misunderstanding through and through. That doesn't mean they won't try to kill us. Oh no, they will definitely try to run their spears right through our neck. But, bottom line, they're just, they're just misguided. They're not necessarily evil, so, what you want to do instead of killing them is use these dragon veins here as much as possible. And that's going to make them run away. Not only that, but every time you hit an enemy, you get 500 gold per enemy. So if I hit three enemies, I get 1,500 gold. And so on. Naturally, uh, we, we uh, made a few poor investments, let's say. And uh, we might want to try and recoup as much of that as possible. So instead of outright slaughtering these guys, we're going to instead try to spare them and it's gonna be very, it's gonna be very strange. Do not adjust your monitors, this is no glitch. Laszlo's gonna be killing things and Camilla will not. I repeat, Laszlo is gonna kill things and Camilla will not. Go figure. I don't know how we ended up in this place, but here we are. All right, seems good to me. So we have to route the enemy. Now, one thing that confused the hell out of me with these child paralogs, right? Sometimes the kid will appear as an enemy. You would think that you're not supposed to kill them, or I certainly did. I had to play Nina's map two times. Well, like three times, three or four times, because I, I had my own failures, but I, I replayed the map because I ended up killing her and I said, no, 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 that can't be right. So I restarted the entire map, but no. I actually don't think there's a single paralog where the kid unit is an enemy that you are not supposed to kill them. Don't quote me on that, but I think that is how it works in every case. If I'm wrong about that, feel free to correct me, but we need to defeat Percy. I passed him Trample and HP plus 5, so beating him is actually not really any kind of issue. It's it's really the rest of these guys. These Wyverns in particular are really, uh, really problematic potentially. Not necessarily these ones, but the several groups throughout the map, right? Mostly come in groups of three. Now, what we're going to do right here, I would like to call a Danger Strat almost. We're going to go full Paper Mario here, Danger Strats. We got Ophelia. She's going to stand right here. We're gonna unpair the two because I do want Elise to do crap. I'm actually gonna leave animations off for the first turn as well because it's very, very, very uh, enemy face heavy. Uh, they can come back after that point, of course, but I just wanna like, I just wanna see what happens on the first turn. It's also easier for me to keep track of the enemies as they move because again, with the route maps, there is a little bit of randomness to it. Uh, that aside, we need to buff up Camilla as much as possible right here and we are gonna hit her with the old rally. I guess Moses got to be there. I think that's still plenty close enough. Uh, so we're going to do one of these, and we're going to move her all the way up here. Now, those Great Knights will not die to us. They actually have a lot of defense. That's another thing about this map. The enemies, right, they're all very, very tanky. Very, very tanky. So, even if you didn't want the gold, you would still probably want to try and catch them in the Dragon Veins because that will cause them to flee the map instantly Lord defeating them. Whereas if you just wanted to kill them, then you naturally have to be able to do just that, right? You have to be able to kill them. And a lot of these guys have armored blow. We're going to get seal strength right there, but that's okay because, again, we're actually not trying to kill people with Camilla. All right, 
Actually, let's watch. Let's watch Ophelia at least. Let's watch her go because she is going to be kicking ass. Now, technically, she has the slightest chance to die, or she did. I don't think she does anymore. But at the beginning, she did because if the silver axe had hit her, that would be very bad. Uh, keep in mind, she's actually losing 20 avoid from the Levin Sword because for some reason they nerfed it in that way. I'm not entirely sure why. That's right. Oh, shoot. She, she's, she's getting beat down, but it's okay. It's A-OK. -okay. She just couldn't get hit by the first guy, as she did not. But you can see that the hit rates are awful. Oh my god, Camilla, chill. What did I just say? We don't want to get- Oh my god, all of these crits. All of these crits. Why, yes. Now, annoyingly, I think that guy might have had lunge. Uh, the one that Camilla killed, that is. Uh, Laszlo's in no danger here, by the way. He was going to survive on two. I assure you. Oh, I missed the button. But he was going to survive on two. Which is exactly why we needed to get him rallied there as well. Oh my god. Is he going to get good by the end of this? Is he going to be a good unit by the end of the game? I don't know what to say. But yeah, this right here is exactly why I just wanted the animations off of the first round. Because as you can see, we're doing a lot of fighting, but not necessarily a whole lot of killing. Now the rest of these guys are going to move on in. And we'll turn the animations back at this point, I want to say. Now Camilla took zero. Yeah, dang, we could have got... We could have got way more. Well, I say way more. We could have got at least, at least 500 more. Potentially even more than that because of the way that we would have been lunged. That's another thing about this map. A lot of the guys... Where are you, bud? Yeah, a lot of the enemies have lunge. Like, these guys have lunge. Uh, one of those first paladins that Laszlo killed had lunge. I think some of the wyverns, yeah, they have lunge. Lots of lunders, so you gotta be very careful with that. And I assume that the reason for that is to prevent you from camping the Dragon Bane. Because if not, I can just sit somebody here who's really tanky, right? And just wait for everybody to come to me. They surround me, and then I pop the Dragon Bane. But if I get lunged, then the enemy will be on the Dragon Bane, and then it's a lot harder to get to them. Speaking of Dragon Bane, though, we can start this, and we can get 1,500 right here. Should be. So, boom, what? there it is. I'm not sure what that effect on the map is supposed to be. What? You tapped into a dragon vein? That means you're... you're royalty. You're no ruffian, and that makes you all... Oh god, Camilla's over there! Huh? I'm so sorry! <laughs> Please, spare my life. Here, do you want money? Take this, it's all yours. Just don't stick around me, man. I bet more troops would do the same if only they realized who they were facing. I agree. So there's 1,500 right there. Not bad, not bad. Uh, now the thing with Ophelia, right, is that she's... It looks like she's in a bad spot, however, she has life taker. Now this guy should actually still be able to reach her, which is good, that's exactly what we want. We'll smack this guy and we will get most of our health back. I did give her an HP tonic because it's a little bit riskier without it. Uh, with it though, she has very, very little chance of dying. Like I say, she needs to literally get hit by the Silver X guy to even have a chance of dying. And even then, she's very, very dodgy despite the Levin Sword penalty because we're on a mountain. Even so though, she still got like, what was that now? All right, animations can come back. They had like 20s on her though, even through that penalty. I know it's a mountain, but god damn, Ophelia. <laughs> Odin who? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so we can pop this, get another cool 1,000, like so. Oh, god damn. Yeah, I moved Mozu to the wrong spot. I, that's, that's not good. I need to fix that. Mozu was supposed to be over here. I put her in the bad deployment spot, and I, I don't know if that's going to matter. Actually. Will it? Is that gonna come back, like, to kill me or what? I guess we're gonna find out. Let's let's just keep going. I I honestly meant to have Mozu over here though, in the Paladin's blind spot because I knew this guy might not be able to attack Camilla as he did not. Because what I was gonna do is have Laszlo attack this guy. Azura dances him, finishes this guy, and then gets the attention of one of these wyverns. Uh, this guy specifically. And we would want to do that. No, I, yeah, he's going to die. Yeah, he's going to die because I screwed up. Ah, oh, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> no, I, I need to fix that. I need to fix that because Lazlo will die. And I still need to defeat this soldier. Hold on. So that, that sucks. This is not that hard of a map. It's really not. I just had a brain fart. That's what I get. Yeah, she's supposed to be here on the first turn so that she can move right here. Which is exactly what we're about to do. Uh, it's a little bit better. Yeah, okay, so this is what was supposed to happen, right? So I would hit this dragon bait here. Like so. And then Mozu can finish this guy off before he murders my face. <laughs> and then because 
We have Ophelia, and I'm about to use Laszlo as well. I think I started to explain that. Oh, nice one, Mozu. More strength, please. She's already got cap speed. She's already got cap speed. It is a little bit lower than I would like, though, honestly. 32 is not all that. That's not even fast enough to double these heroes on this map without a pair up. So that's pretty, pretty sketch, honestly. But it is what it is. Can't really do better than that. Yeah, we go for the uh, double attack right here. I suppose if Laszlo wanted to get a crit before this point, that could be pretty bad. Oh, let me turn on the animations. Hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, <laughs> my bad. But then we can have Leo over here. And one really nice thing about him is that he's not actually fast enough to double those soldiers without a pair. Up. So just by keeping him up paired like that, we can ensure that as many of them survive as possible. Now, we're actually going to pair up Silas just to uh, just to avoid taking chip damage here. Now, we give him the Beast Killer so that he can run through on this guy. And hopefully just blow him all the way back. Let's see it, Silas. Silas and Nyx, the unlikely duo. There's one. And goodbye. We made it. Sometimes it's just a little bit too easy, you know. <laughs> but we did want to avoid a little bit of chip there because he's going to need health later on in the map as well. Now, Ophelia can keep herself topped off basically forever. Only one of those heroes can reach her from this position. Which is exactly what we want, without a doubt, because we're about to get another 20 HP or so right here. So even if the hero manages to hit her, and he very well may, he very well may, yeah, 20 health on the dot, in fact. He might hit her, but it's like, so what? We're just going to kill the other one on our next turn, get all our HP back, and we can just basically leave her there and not have to worry about a damn thing. Now this is a little bit sketch, of course, but honestly, we're using Elise. At this point, everything is sketch. If we're keeping it a buck. It's just part of using her, I'm afraid. Although maybe if we could have gotten her over to Sorcerer at some point. I mean, maybe we still can. I don't know how much that's really going to help with only a few maps left and all, but hey. Now with that done, we just shoot on this guy with Laslo. And the guy with the Tomahawk is either one going to get himself killed to Mozu or two try to attack Laslo and fail because we have a shield gauge. Or so goes my theory. Now all we need to do is pair these two up, and this should keep Camilla safe. This is as good as a rally defense. All right, and I gave her the Draco shield that we picked up on the last map. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't think I did, in fact, but I did give her the Draco shield. So if I pair these two up right now, she has basically 41 defense. Uh, that kind of matters, though, because she is in range to get defense sealed, which is exactly why we need to do this. Yes, this is exactly what we want. So it's good that Laszlo actually did get hit a little bit. I don't know if this guy would still come for him if not. I really don't. But hey, we did get hit, so there's that. Oh, he's getting kind of tanky, though. Not necessarily the fastest, but sort of beefy. Sort of beefy. Beefy enough. Yeah, these guys literally take Camilla. How embarrassing. They are just soldiers, in all fairness. We are going to get defense sealed. And I don't think these guys could have killed me regardless, but they do have Savage Blow, which is the bigger issue here. We're going to take a cool 9 here, which should keep us out of range of anything else. Oh, did I say we're going to take Savage Blow? I meant we're going to blow him away, is what I meant to say. <laughs> Same difference, really. Somebody here is a Savage, but it's sure not that guy. Let me just put it that way. Now, they're going to come for Ophelia yet again. Why does this guy get the boss music? What? <laughs> what? What kind of glitch is this? Or maybe that's just Ophelia's theme song. Are you guys seeing the same thing I'm seeing? Oh my lord. <laughs> Who the hell is Odin? <laughs> I know Ophelia, but... Alright, so this could be a little bit dangerous. Oh my god, really? Well, no, it won't be. Oh, I guess it will be. What the hell happened there? Oh, I know exactly what happened there. That beast killer guy got hit by the dragon vein last time, didn't he? Oh, he did. He did. Oh, my God. Yeah, I got to really pay more attention on route maps because enemies just do whatever they want. Basically, like, that's not... That's not an exaggeration. I assumed that... Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a brain fart right there if I've ever seen one. I'll bet you anything if I go back and look at that footage. I caught the beast killer guy last time in the dragon vein, didn't I? I'll bet you anything. Well, we obviously can't. <laughs> I was trying to hype her up. God damn. <laughs> that doesn't work then. They didn't even come for her this time. They didn't even come for her. I was right, though. I was able to get another dragon in there, which is what's keeping her safe right now. Not dragon, but wyvern, lord, or whatever there. You know, you know what I mean. We got an extra one of those in there. That keeps her safe. Uh, 
I should still be able to take one of you guys. Let's actually check the weapons now. Hold on. That didn't work out too well for us the first time. Now did it. And I also missed this hero, of course. But hey, I don't think it makes any difference. I kill you. It really sucks, though, that we missed that guy. I have to say, yeah, we want to stay on here. And these guys have no kind of hit rates. Uh, because of the Duelist Blow, of course. Yeah, yeah, what am I saying? It's because of Duelist Blow. For some reason, I was thinking Ophelia had the evasion that she should have. I don't understand why the Eleven Sword is so bad when it comes to evasion. I think I understand what they were trying to do. But that would also assume that Ryoma didn't exist, <laughs> you know? And have a better version of that by default. And it also uses his better physical stat that so many units would take advantage of. A lot better than the Eleven Sword. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, we can move Silas to the fort at this point. That shouldn't be in range of anything. No, it is not. So we'll put him over there just for an extra little bit of healing. Uh, now... Truth be told, I'm fairly confident that if Xander chips this guy... Not from there, though. Xander attacks from here. And then Laszlo can kill him. Leaving the other Wyvern Lord to Mozu. At which point I will make an honest-to-God attempt to get Laszlo over to her because I still want those two dudes to bone. That's what I'm all about, man. Uh, so this should be a dead great night, believe it or not. Yeah, I know it almost feels like some kind of strange glitch, but I assure you that <laughs> Laszlo's getting kind of decent. We're still out of range from you with Azura. Whoa, 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 what am I doing? Attack. Yeah, look at that. Exact damage. Exact damage. Right, <laughs> my bad. These can come back. What am I doing? Now, Moses is going to have to take a hit here because I want to... I want to retreat and pull these guys over to the left so that I can dragon bane them away. Which is exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so he has a 16% hit rate, and that's just not going to happen, right? You're not really going to make me reset for a 16, are you? Okay. <laughs> I know that's a little bit sketchy, but this is my best way to deal with him. And now we can still survive one hit. Yes, that did go well. We can now survive one hit from this guy, and we're not in range of this guy. Or anything else. We want to pull everything back this way. Honestly, we may lead with dude. We may just lead with dude. Seems safer, to be honest. Camilla's getting a little bit low. But this should pull everything to the left. I may even drop her off, actually. Wouldn't that be the actual move, right? Okay, cool. That is mount. It's, it's really hard to see the terrain on this map, I have to say. Especially when you start popping those veins, but... Just a minor thing, really. These guys have the smallest chance in the world to defeat Ophelia. They do not. Good, good. <laughs> I know. See, this is exactly why it's the danger strategy, though. I don't care, man. It's way more fun this way. I want to see Ophelia wreck shit. I don't know about you guys, but I deserve something after putting up with Odin for this long. Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's something and yet nothing. That is the perfect description for an HP skill luck level up, honestly. <laughs> but... Yeah, this guy just straight up has the boss music. Oh, is he supposed to be that guy in the intro cutscene? Maybe he is. Well, he was. <laughs> well, that's how that goes, I guess. Now, nothing else can really reach her besides this guy. Now, if I get hit by this tomahawk, I'm gonna be super salty. Come on, Ophelia, we're done here. Oh my god, Ophelia, come on! <laughs> Ophelia, stop! Stop! <laughs> I like how she tanks the 22 and then effortlessly dodges the 62. Somebody ought to teach her math. Oh, he has a beast killer, but again, we have weapon triangle. He's very inaccurate. That, that was part of the plan, I assure you. <laughs> now, these guys, in theory, block off the Dragon Bane, but we have enough people that we can clear the way for one of Elise or Leo. We might be able to straight up do it with Elise because we moved Silas to that fort there. Is that going to give us enough? It is. It is, and they can't kill us, so 95% of the time, we can just swing Elise over there. I have to be honest, though, with... Yeah, with Ophelia getting hit right there, I don't think... I don't think she can do this. I think she has to bail. Hold on, I need to think on that, because yeah, I didn't really anticipate her getting nailed by a 22. Or, or whatever that was. Because had she not, we would have been able to tank that hit. We would still be a little low. But we could life take her, kill this guy, and then easily be able to withstand an attack from both this hero as well as Percy. Well, what I could do is actually just bail on this dragon vein entirely. And in all honesty, I might have to. 
but if I did bail... Because, see, I could move... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? If I pair these two up... Like so. Then I can switch back to Elise for maximum safety. Hit the Dragon Bane with her. Kill the hero that way. Kill the Wyvern Rider that way. But if I did that, then I... I would have to fall back because then I can't get to this vein. You know? So that might be where we're at, in all honesty. Yeah, I really don't think there's another way out of it after that miss. <laughs> like I can complain. So this is how we get out of this. We move here, we switch, we Dragon Vein with Elise, who will also annihilate Percy. You can't, you can't Dragon Vein him away, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I, this would be a first for me if you can, but I, I'm so sure that you cannot. The other two dudes will run though, and we've, we've still made 6,000, but we could have got away with 7,500 or more. We could have got away with pushing 10,000. Now this guy doesn't have lunge, right? No, it's you. You're the one with lunge. Because what I actually want to do is, is repair these two, honestly, and then back off to like right about here. They should lunge me back towards the Dragon Bane. And if not, I can just kill whoever's on it and then hit the Dragon Bane that way. Yeah, so we can have Mozu kill you now. We can never do this pretty safely. As we do. God damn. God bless you, Mozu. And that should actually be her level 15 skill as well. Yeah. Now she's getting strength. Hell yeah. This is more like the Mozu I'm used to. <laughs> and we could probably afford to drop Arthur at this point. Switch these two. Transfer on over. I say we can afford to pull one that way. I do. If we can switch these two over. Arthur, I think you're done here, bud. We need to get these two going. So, Azura, go. Uh, let's separate just because, really. <laughs> yeah, just because. You never know. Now, what I do know is that we need to get the hell out of here, so let's do just that. Pair up. I don't think I can leave Silas uh, out there either, because this guy does have a beast killer. Ooh, that is going to be a lot more tricky now, isn't it? I guess I'm going to have to go back with somebody. Yeah, I, I didn't see a way out of that. Again, if I could have... If I would have evaded the Tomahawk with Ophelia, she could have killed the Wyvern Lord next to Percy. She would still survive from the hero as well as Percy combined. And then we could have got to this Dragon Bane easily. No, there's no alternative. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I am going to go through with this plan. They'll repair these two. Move dude right here. And these guys, since a lot of them have lunge, they will actually be lunging me closer. Only two of them have lunge. And uh, all we'll need to do, really, is kill whoever ends up on the Dragon Bane, which is a pretty simple matter, I think. Silas, get out of here. Get out of here. Run away. If I have any luck, they'll just head back to the left, really. That would be the ideal outcome. Yeah, we gotta get out. Had to, unfortunately. I hate doing that, though. I really do. I just... Uh, <laughs> well, we distract that guy. Yep, one guy does move to the main, but it should be okay. This is dude paired with Camilla. That's like God paired with God, okay? So what can they really hope to achieve here at the end of the day? I'm sorry. I thought you sealed my strength. Why am I still murdering you? Well, see, I say that, but we're taking huge hits as well. I think she may have got defense sealed, or maybe these guys are just incredible. Could be either one, really. Most certainly. Yeah, but there goes Savage Blow. Percy, my man, this was not your move. It's time to deliver some real justice. You respect your aunt. <laughs> oh, emulator, work with me. It's not that complicated. See, you would think that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. That was a poor showing. Yeah, too experienced seems appropriate. Golly, that was just a little bit too easy. Hmm. Maybe we try to get a little bit cheeky here. And pull them, like, way the hell over here. At least you murdered this guy, right? Oh, yeah, easily with the bolt axe. Oh, my God. Yeah, final answer. Let's head back this way. So that threw me off a little bit. I won't lie. I kind of thought we'd be safer to pursue the Northern Dragon Bane, but... But alas, I guess not. Uh, now then. 
These guys should share attack ranges. No, they actually don't. And they actually don't. So I might just leave Mozu right here in all honesty. I would imagine that she would be the best target. Can't see them doing too much to dude with their seven or 33 rather. Yeah, 33 defense. Surely they go for Mozu. Especially when I trade dude to this hand axe right now. <laughs> and we do want them to go to Mozu, I think. I mean, we don't kill, but we do enough. Definitely do more than enough. So let's let's do exactly that. Sorry, comment popped up there. My apologies. I, I should probably turn those off when I'm recording, but I'd be way too lazy to constantly do that, you know? Turn them off and on every other... Every few hours, basically. At least it feels that way. Switch and drop Azura back over here, closer to the rest of our dudes. So my beef with trying this whole Elise thing... Actually, there there's no beef. Well, there's a slight beef. The beef being that this guy can just run back to the Dragon Vein. Like, he can just, he can wait on top of it, basically. You know, I guess, if anything, the spot would be right here. Unless I get lunged. <laughs> this map is not that hard. Let me just play a little bit bold while we're at it. And we'll move Elise here. This guy can't kill her under any circumstances. But they will try to. And it should also make them attack stance in such a way that I can just run onto the Dragon Vein. While also pulling everybody back towards me. In theory. Final answer, let us do it. Let's do it. This map's not so bad, honestly, is that, like... Yeah, it's just really not so bad that I feel like that's somehow going to cost me a huge amount of my time. And failing that, maybe we even divide them up or something like that. I'd be okay with that. I certainly would. Yep, they're gonna come from Ozu. Who is now insanely evasive. I don't really know when this happened, but I'm totally down for this. And by having these guys attack Mozu, that's going to preserve some of our defense on dude, which is great. He's actually going to move to the fort of all places. Yes, this is what we want to see. What we don't want to see is an 82% whiff. It'd be great if they wanted to miss. <laughs> I'll say that. Yeah, not today, no kidding. Are we talking about the game or my computer? Not bad, not bad. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Hold on, though. Yeah, this map was just not playing along with this. I apologize, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Now it's normal fates instead of ultra pretty fates. Oh, well. It just was not playing. I've never seen it be so bad, but I there is kind of a lot going on in this map. Looking at the backgrounds, though, I, yeah, I guess they're all very detailed and whatnot. Especially once we start hitting these veins like that. I can see why there might be some issue. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful sight. Now, they do have a radius of three, so we're getting everything but the Great Knight once we kill this one single soldier. A single soldier. I think we can do it. I, I don't know. Do you think we can? Do you think dude Camilla and all the other hundreds of beasts that are down here can do it? I just don't know. And we can, each, we can get our shield back immediately. Yeah, patience was definitely the way. So what we do, we move here with dude. We throw the axe. This is the, this is the spot, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we move here with dude, we throw the axe. Like so. Bozu picks him off. There's no way the Great Knight can ever hit Azura because there's a mountain right in the way. So. Oh yeah, that was, that was too perfect. That was way too perfect, man. So Mozu, help me out here. Actually, I could give it to the slow or... No, no, no. Bozu it is. Bozu it is. We're not forgetting anything, I hope. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I guess this map is just really detailed or something. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. And I was kind of afraid that that might be the, the determining factor here. But yeah, look at all of that. That more than makes up for the one that we missed. I would say... So goodbye, all of you. Ha <laughs> ha! 3,500 just like that. Just like that. Golly. And we can even get a little bit more. So yeah, we're going to get out of here with more than 10,000. That's pretty sweet. Because Elise can hit that next one for 500. We can blow away that last paladin. Now, I know what you're thinking. Is he going to forget that he had a beast killer? <laughs> and the answer is no. 
No, 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 no. He definitely has a beast killer, and I did not forget. So, Leo. Calamity Gate first. Oh, he, does, he doesn't have it equipped, though. He doesn't start with it equipped, so that's something to think about, I guess. Well, this is some really good damage. And then there's just no way in hell Silas can't clean him up. Oh, uh, failing that, though, we're in a really bad spot. Yeah, if Silas couldn't do this, I would be very skeptical on him as a unit. I won't lie to you. No hard feelings. Another I guess I'm popular today. Golly. <laughs> Love you guys. Yes. Strength, skill, speed. Nice. Silas has really turned it around, I gotta say. And Percy is gonna be really nice as well. I don't know. I Shoot, last time I said I thought Ophelia was the best, but now I really don't know. I might think that Percy is, to be honest. I Percy, Kana, Dwight. Like, they're all just insanely good. None of these guys have lunge. Oh, the hero has lunge, but I can kill the hero. The hero can actually die to me. Easily. So, that's exactly what's going to happen. Are, now, are we already strength sealed or what? Because if not, we are, and we will kill the hero through it. So, let's just attack this guy. Oh, but unfortunately, he does have a dang... Do I have the hammer in the convoy? I do have the hammer in the convoy. Ooh, I have the hammer in the convoy. Do I kill this guy with the hammer, do you think? Or maybe Camilla just... Ah, not quite. We're still a little bit too weakened, unfortunately. That was the big fear, of course, taking so many seal strengths like that. But... Well, he has a spear, but Mozu has a shield gauge, so whatever. I say we just go for the hammer. We'll just go for the hammer. And we're not close to a level up. Two kills, that should not level us up. No, it never will. And I don't want dude to get any higher of a level than this either. For similar reasons as to Ophelia. Which we will see on the next map, no doubt. Because she is just about done here as a flyer. Like I say, we just picked up Percy, who honestly might be one of the best ones as well. Because he's basically about to be second Camilla. He's basically about to be second Camilla. Although, really, you can say that about any kid unit, really. They're all insanely good. I don't know if it's really even worth trying to pick just one, because every single one of them can replace their parent, without a doubt. But I don't know, Percy just has a lot going for him. Why did it fade to black like that? Oh, you know, I actually do remember that being a weird thing about forts, come to think of it. Okay, so we miss him. As if that makes a difference at this point. As if that makes any kind of difference at this point. And just to be on the safe side with these two. Is there a way that I can give this to Laszlo or what? Yes, there is. All right, Xander, my man. You're so beefy. There we go. So now Laszlo can get the kill. And that should level him up. My god, he's gotten so good over the course of literally this just one map. Literally this one map, and he became a god. I, I say god. He became almost an acceptable ninja. How about that? So catch, kid. Good night. And that is that. One more speed for the road, though? Hey! Why, yes. My guy. More of that. He's, he got really beefy there, huh? I can't really beef you there. Well, we made away with at least 10,000 gold, and I'm happy with that. We made back all the money that we spent just to do this map. <laughs> oh, that was so not worth it. And I, I can't help but feel like if Ophelia would have just been a dark knight, this all would have been so much easier. But this map is really not too bad. We're about to get one great kid, though, and we can at least see his promotion. Uh, before we wrap this up, because it's going to be bonkers. Make no mistake. I passed him Trample and HP plus 5. I don't think I explicitly said that, but those are the two that make the most sense since he's not going Melee Knight. There's really no reason for him to. And Arthur really had nothing better to pass him. I'm not sure if I'm going to make Percy a Berserker or what. I guess we'll have to think about it. <laughs> Hi, sorry, Percy. I never meant to abandon you for these last 10 years. I'm 13, Dad. Oh, I just thought you were absolutely safe, so my job was done until you were older. I screwed up on a heroic scale. Please forgive me. From this day forward, I'd love for you to join me as a sidekick. At least he realizes his mistake, but I don't know. It just seems like Arthur was holding the idiot ball just so that this paralogue could exist. Because all he talks about is justice, and you mean to tell me that he didn't think maybe it was just a little bit cruel to leave his kid like that? 
Come on. Or maybe I'll be yours. Whatever! Just as long as we're a justice-slinging uh... duo! Uh, really, Pop? Does that mean that you'll come live in the no. Deep Realm with me? <laughs> no, the opposite! You're going back there! Pop, do you really mean it? It's I can true. stay here with you. It's true! Right here! With me! <laughs> Wah! Wah! <laughs> what is it? Did I blunder again? No, I'm just so happy. I didn't want you as my arch nemesis, Pop. I really didn't. This is what I always wanted. Haha! -ha! Father-son bond repaired in the nick of time! Hmm? Your dragon! What's got him so darn upset? Whoa! Hold on, big boy! Those are fangs you're bearing over there! <laughs> hey, stop! Don't snap at Pops! He didn't do anything bad, <laughs> debatedly. Percy! Your trusted steed is looking at me like I'm a meat platter! Ace! <laughs> Ace, I said I'm not sad. Happy, you hear me? Happy! We're staying here with Pops. We don't have to live in our deep realm. <sighs> oh, he's backing off. Good Whoa boy, there. good boy. Whoa there! I thought you'd be flossing me out in, <laughs> on his teeth soon. Glad we cleared all this up. You and your dragon are Go most welcome with us. Exactly. I can't wait to learn how Percy. to be a better hero from you. I don't know if he's the best role model, Percy. Percy, I'm just glad to have you on my side. Now, ready to sock evil in the face. The old one, too. <laughs> yes, I love you, Arthur. Father, son, <laughs> justice. <laughs> yeah. Phew, good thing that all worked out. Hopefully that'll be the last father-son skirmish we see in our party. What am I doing here? <laughs> it's me, Silas, the narrator. Percy, right? So he's really good. I didn't really look at his stats or anything, but we could do that right now. His personal ability is hilarious because it is the exact opposite of Arthur's. So Arthur's incredibly unlucky, and Percy is the luckiest kid in the world. <laughs> Ellis within two spaces get plus 15 crit of eight, and he always just gets a, a flat plus five crit of eight at all times. What is kind of weird about that last map, though, is that Percy doesn't start in a promoted class, which makes him a complete joke as a boss. Look at these stats. <laughs> Camilla number two, basically. He is considerably weaker, though, I have to admit. Although he's four levels lower as well. Wow, he has a really low luck cap. Why is that? Does Camilla have a bad luck? cap or something is that what's going on oh it's Arthur of course <laughs> yeah Arthur probably tanks this kid's luck stat huh well <laughs> that's how that goes he has a good luck stat but you know what I mean a low luck cap on the other hand I say we get it poppin we gotta take him through wyvern lord regardless because if we don't promote him right now the master or not the master seal but the offspring seal will not work so let's get these bonuses man Hit the gym real quick. <laughs> These performance enhancing seals. All right. What a good unit. And he's he's free. That's what's crazy about it. We'll get rally defense and sword breaker, and we still have trample because we passed it. And lances, which we get an automatic C in, and he has B and a half in axes. So yeah, everything about this kid is good. Like I said, he's basically Camilla Jr. I think he's luckier and more accurate though. Yeah, he is. He's more reliable than she. Well, arguably. She has A and Axes, though, I suppose. But he also has a nice C-Rank and Lancer, which might help him do some things. Like, he can actually use the Beast Killer, unlike Camilla, so that is one thing that he's got going for him. Doesn't really matter too, too much, but it on the very final map, it could be useful. It just depends, really. Uh, that should have been it for Leo and Nyx, I assume. As well as Laslo and Mozu A. Yeah, we can at least get... We can get two more kids. Easily. Easily. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> that might be what we're doing next time. A little bit of a chill one here. I, I don't know if we want to get Boris next or what. I don't know. I'll have to decide. But Percy's going to be very useful in that. I don't know. What do you guys think about Percy? I think he's probably, if not the best, then like the second best. But I, I know. I just don't feel he was the best too. I, I don't know. They're all just so damn good. They're all broken. How about that? <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts as well. And I will catch you guys next time. See you then. Peace.